and welcome back to episode 9 of the Luxury Base series. Uh, we are, we're still yet to start much on the, the Luxury Base, but we are uh, we are quickly trying to run away through the, uh, the power and food that's going to help free up the dupes to actually build what we want them to build. It's kind of the important bit. We're going to stabilise the base first, uh, and then we can get going. We, we have boiler problems, but I think they're fairly minor. I've, uh, I've seen worse boiler problems than this. If you see my most tubes run, there were many problems with that. Uh, yes, raise us back. Raise us back for the last episode of the stream. Uh, so yeah, this will just, this will finish coming out now. So uh, once this is done, this is done and that will all be good. Yeah, a bit of sour gas got in there from the petroleum, but it's only a tiny amount, a couple of milligrams. So, a couple of grams. No problem. We can get building with this. So this is going to be our main project, I think. Uh, we should probably mop that up. Uh, yeah, but the other thing I did want to do is get in here for thimble reed. This, uh, this thimble reed is growing. So uh, we, should, uh, we should try and get over there. See if we can harvest some of that. Yeah, the vacuum liquid lock's gone. But uh, yeah, it won't matter. We'll just close this up. That is the thing. I mean, obviously you only need the vacuum liquid lock where you need access to. Reeds don't flood, they're Vera. Kind of like real life, they're water plants. They can grow underwater. So the uh, required atmosphere is oxygen, fluid oxygen, carbon dioxide, polluted water or water. So if they're in liquid, in those liquids, it's fine. They don't flood. Okay, one of the very few plants that doesn't do that. Might be, I'm tempted to say the only plant that doesn't do that, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't think. Hmm. Um, no, but water weed grows in salt water. Yeah, it does flood. It does flood. Um, hmm. Where's the... I'm not sure I, I'm not sure there are any water weeds on here, are they? They're probably dead by now. <laughs> so I can't check, but... Uh, do you have a look in here? Atmosphere, salt water, brine. Um, yeah, it's a problem. Stuff's missing from the wiki there. You know, did doesn't have the answer. Uh, okay, we need to mop this, sweep all this. Printables. Do we want more dupes? Do we need more food? Um, maybe we'll take Ari, because we could do with some farming, I think. Let's um, let's take another dupe, because also I'm keen to get more of you in here, all my lovely subscribers. So, uh, uh, Super Kadai is coming in. Great, and what we'll do is we'll immediately give him farming and we'll prioritise him onto uh, farming. And yeah, we will need we will need more more plants. That's yeah, fine. We've got loads of food though. We've got loads of meal ice. Look, that's fine. Can't complain at disgusting meal ice. <laughs> Only doesn't always make sense. I think we know this by now. Yeah, once this once this vacuum's out, we'll all be good. Keep going with all this. Lots of digging, lots of building to do. Uh, what are the other major projects? I mean, I suppose the other thing we could do uh, for this is we're going to need to make an industrial brick, uh, which I said I'd do around here because we've got a cool steam vent here. So why not? Why not check that in? Um, Where can we do it? If we put like a, you know, I like having a main ladder pole, which is going to over here. I, I feel like this brick could end up kind of in a bit of nowhere. But also, we're not going to use all the map, like not even close. So we can be a little bit arbitrary with, you know, where we stick stuff. It, it doesn't really matter. The only thing is, maybe you want to keep this near the top. So if we kept this in the one, two, three, four. And we put steam turbines in here and equitunes, like because then the steam would be in the right place. Uh, so then what we need to do is make this uh, big enough for 10 slickster ranches, because that is how much a single petroleum boiler makes. Uh, 10 whole slickster ranches. So we'll leave a top layer for um, uh, for aquatuners and things. Then what we need to do is build mesh tiles across. Uh, we need to put a ladder somewhere in here as well. We'll ladder pole outside and ladder pole inside I think. 
Or is that excessive? I don't know. It feels excessive. Maybe we should access from the left. Okay. Well, we'll access from the left. So let's do that. So, so ranches need to be 20, 25. Uh, because you need the 24 by 4 with a door and tile in the middle. So it needs to be one bigger. So it'll be a door... Uh, be a door there, be a ladder pole there, be another door there, and then there'll be another 25 this way, and that'll be the end. So, uh, 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 yeah. Um, or do we ladder, sorry, the ladder pole, we'll do ladder pole door here, yeah? Ladder pole door, uh, ladder pole door 25, door 25, yeah. I think we're all good. I think that's the right size. And then, yeah, we need to use a lot of mesh tiles inside, which is, uh, as always. So let's, um, let's can that, because we don't need that. We will need to come underneath here. There's a good way to go. Uh, just more, more angles to build this thing from, without uh, having to build loads of ladders. And then what we can do is... Scolding. Super Kadai, why are you up there? Just came in. I assume he's grabbing dirt for the, uh, the farm. We can dig that across there. Come in. And start the brick like that. So we've got lots of digging and building to do. It's not entirely unusual. We will, uh, we'll have to drain this as well because there's obviously a lot of gas, and then we'll have to start vacuuming in this one as well. Come on, gas pump. It's almost there. Down to 19 micrograms on there. Oh, hypothermia. It's pretty cold over here still. Okay, at least we've got the, the gas masks. Something. Something. We're definitely going to need the uh, gas range to do some nice frost burgers. Is that crashed again? Oh, bummer, that's just crashed again. That's just twice in one stream now. Hmm. Maybe it's a new patch, I don't know. Maybe the patch has made it unstable. We'll see, we'll see. Or maybe my graphics card settings are uh, not happy. All right, reload, reload. At least, at least we don't have to reload. Like, the most hoops run reload, so it takes quite a while. So... Uh, at least this reload is a little bit quicker. Something's cursed. <laughs> Let's keep going. That steel is the steel will live there as a not as a testament to failure, as a testament to the fix to the failure. That's the that's the key with Oni the, the Vera. It's not about how badly you fail, it's about how you fix it. And everything can be fixed. Everything can be fixed. Right, let me I'll have to cut the YouTube vlog back in again. And we're back again, sorry about that. I don't know what that was, but uh, we seem to be having a minor crashing issue uh, for some reason. Uh, anyway, not a, not a huge issue, we just uh, we just reload, but uh, we have to do cuts for that. Anyway, and we've lost a little bit of progress because we're back to the start of the cycle. But no worries, I remember what I was doing, so it's always a good thing. Uh, yeah. That's the one. Undid all my progress around here. <laughs> okay. No biggie. I don't know what's causing these crashes now. Something. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Not everything can be fixed, <laughs> to be fair. Most things can be fixed. Not everything can be fixed. Right. We did that. We did that. I think we're okay. All good. It was literally just about to vacuum and it was like, no, I won't, I won't let you do it. Uh, okay, buildings, hide that. Gas. I like leaving the materials overlay on gas. Materials overlay is my favourite overlay. And uh, I think definitely less experienced players always forget to use it. But it's so good. F4, materials overlay. Particularly with gases, it's just, it's just way better than the oxygen overlay. Uh, other than the, the oxygen does give you the pressures more, but yeah, i constantly using that overlay. I would recommend. I think these guys are, they're not very busy. I think they're like, what do we do? 
so we have a ooh, we have an incoming meteor shower. We won't worry about meteor showers too much for now. Uh, so we should be able to with the carbon dioxide engine. We should be able to go three out and three back. Uh, why aren't we getting a lot of carbon dioxide? Because I thought this was connected. Because this is unreachable. That would explain that one. Let's finish that off. And yeah, this will also reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in the in the base because it's getting a little bit high again. I don't know why this natural gas has suddenly popped up. Also, this has no power. That would be a good idea. Put some power on that. Yeah, so I mean, this is it's going to take a while, take them a while to build this. Although, if they are all free now, then great, they can uh, they can get on with that. Let's put some more wood in. Yes, yeah. So this will eat up quite a lot of carbon dioxide and then fuel the rocket at the same time. I mean, that's that's win win. Uh, meanwhile, they've got quite a lot to build in here. Okay, so we can put usually I put about a thousand plastic just for the uh, just for that. So obviously you need to beat the orbital data collection lab plastic. Something's flooding. What happened there? Oh, we opened this up and it flooded a load of water. Uh, I didn't actually mean to open that because this might get a bit cold now. Although, ah, now all four are growing. Awesome. Okay, we have thimble reed. That's good. Uh, okay, dig this out. We'll do at least drain this. We need the water sift back. Let's get that dug out. Temperatures look good. So the heating loop is fighting off still the cold that's up there, but doing a great job, so no problem. Mm -hmm. Everything looking good. Building broken. Gas pipe. Ah. It's uh, pretty cold up here as well. A bit, uh, a bit par for the course, really. So yeah, the carbon dioxide will actually uh, freeze up here, which is rather annoying. I don't make everything priority now. It's just a, it's a bad habit, but it gets stuff done that I'm actually focused on. Otherwise, they never get it done. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll un unflood that. Oh, also that refills the reservoir, so that's uh, that's win-win. And then we will probably need to mop this, because even when it goes under the flooding amount, it still needs mopping. Which is rather annoying. Yeah, let's make sure our toilets don't run out of water. Okay, alright. It's just frozen. Ah, it's frozen! <laughs> right, the remaining water just froze, so we didn't even need to mop it. Perfect. Okay, toilets are still operational. Oh, did I? I didn't do scheduling, so Super Kadai and Sadat will put you on that. Yeah, four dupes to a schedule, and then they can all use the toilet at different times. <laughs> exactly, Ryan was actually helpful there rather than hindering me, which it mostly is hindering me, I think, at this point. Uh, See, right, so we're making we're making good progress over here. I probably shouldn't have dug the bottom one, should I? Because now uh, Yeah, now, now I'm gonna have to go on top to get this done. Oh well. We can do that. More stuff to build, they love it. Give them something to do. Here come the uh, snow and ice meteors. I mean, I don't think I don't think we need to make this cloudoid colder. You know, we, we we've got enough ice over here. Although at least the uh, telescope is not overheating because of meteors; it is uh, it's freezing. Well, yeah. Well, we wanted to see volcano versus rhyme. You know, it's uh, it's a fun uh, fun experiment. Okay. Uh, right. This also needs a battery as well. I realise this needs a battery. Oh, and this has no power. Um, hmm. That's some, that's another oversight, you see. I suppose if we put this here. Well, if we put that there, then this can be... That's already 12 tiles. Why do we do that? Then we can also... Oh, we need a manual generator somewhere. We'll have to give up the bedroom buff for it. I think on the last playthrough I connected the battery module up to the... Uh, main grid, which is actually a good idea. Maybe we can do that again. There we go. Oh, I could play. True. True that. 
Good suggestions, guys. Good suggestions. Okay. Please get that dog. Let's get access to the rest. Body temperature. This was lead. Why is this so cold? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we, have, we can harvest a symbol read, which is great. So our symbol read is now... Oh, we've got 27! We could actually... We could actually start replacing these with the Mapbo suit docks, I think. I mean, it's two per, so that's, thir that's 13 suits currently. We do need a bit more, plus we need some for repairs, but... Um, being attacked by a moth. Uh, this is now vacuumed, anyway, so we're all good. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, hat store, thank you for popping in. Yeah, have fun with your friends. Uh, I think we're good with the boiler now. I think we've done the difficult bit, but appreciate that. Um, yeah, door is vertical, so we're all good. Uh, we've got any more skills? Anyone? Anyone need skills? I should uh, start giving them hats. So, what I what I always do is I give them give them hats when I finish specking them out. When they've we've kind of we've got a good buffer, then. Uh, then we give them a hat, and then the hat tells me they are they're maxed out. You don't need to look at them when you're going through them again, which saves me a load of time because otherwise, oh, you have to go through all of them and be like, uh, and go work out who needs to do what again. Uh, well, this is this is a very good dupe actually. And she's uh, many talented dupe. Uh, uh, all right, Leo, we're going to give you super uh, more digging, uh, suit, and pyrotechnics. I think that was filled out. Pyrotechnics, head care, take care. Yeah, I mean, that's just a digger. I think it's fine, digger. Friendly, you're a critter rancher and you're filled out. Great, so now I won't have to look at those ones again next time. No food. Hmm. I'm going to keep running out of food, come on. Uh... Right, all good. Yeah, no, I was going to say the same thing, though, Eri. Yeah, I, I thought that hat was a bit disappointing, because I hadn't, to be honest, I hadn't really registered what it was before. But I agree with you, that it's, it's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Just an orange hat with an electrical thing on, it's like, meh. It needs to be something fireworky or cool or, you know. Surely, surely you can do something interesting with that. <laughs> Explosive rebar. That's the wrong game, mate, but I appreciate the sentiment. Yeah, so this is this volcano has blocked itself now. We can unblock it. Three aluminium. Okay, yeah, so I think I think the main thrust of this now is going to be um, building over here. We can uh, pop some of that in. Uh, we can build this in layers. And say, we need a top layer for aqua tuners and steam turbines and petroleum stuff, maybe. And then we're going to need 10 slicker ranches. These are double ranches. So we're going to need five layers of this all the way down. Just quite big. Um, uh, I'll just check someone quickly. Da -da -da. Cool. Well, good. Is that 201 tiles long? Huh. So these is two two rooms of 25, which is what you need. So yes, big uh, big digging project there. We can also save some material by using normal tiles on that bit. Uh, printables. Do we want more tubes? How much meal would have I actually got now? I mean, this is technically not growing. Because uh, I was up to... What was I up to before? It's another 25. 
This was 35, right? And 25 is 60. And that's 85. 85 divided by 5 is... Uh, maths. S 17? That's not for 17 dupes. Like, so we can take more dupes and... Oh, mm, food. That is food. Okay, moving food. We'll take that first. Why is this out of oxygen as well? Bomb. Spawn is actually, as a good point, the spawn will start to struggle at this point because we um, this thing only makes enough of about 14 dupes. So what we probably want to do is convert this into a full Rodriguez because that's what I like to do. Uh, so let's uh, let's get a start on that now. We'll uh, we'll have to quickly run in here and change this all over. And there we go. I'm not going to kill him. I'll just let him die from old age. But eventually when he dies from old age, then he'll be on the dinner table. You know? That's what I'm saying. Is this... Okay. Connected. Ah, right, I see. I think we're also losing a load of oxygen through here, which is probably not helping. We've run out of carbon dioxide. This, uh... Uh, what's broken there? Any gas up here? Where is gas up there? Yeah, I suppose this isn't liquid locked. Okay, building broke. Yeah, got it. Got it. We all good? I think we're all good. So, yeah, we'll, we'll expand this one and then uh, it's going to help. We're still chucking tiny bits of water down here. Uh, we've got to keep an eye on the reed fiber. If the reed fiber keeps going up, See, this one's now stopped. Sprawl will open this up. Is it they're going to stop growing? That one's stopped. Uh, and uh, Toxijon, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Appreciate that. I'll add you to the list. Add you to the list. Unleash you on there. Appreciate that. Uh, welcome in as well. Okay. So yeah, we'll just convert our little half Rodriguez into full Rodriguez. Why have we got tubes idling? Not enough masks? Yeah, okay, so these these masks are out. I suppose this is supplying two. It's not enough. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. So I, I think, I'm pretty sure it just goes past the, uh, the engine and just goes into space. So it's not a problem. At least we sorted the carbon dioxide problem down here. Although I suppose what we are missing is airflow tiles. Probably uh, chuck those in the bottom layer. Uh, oh no, don't do that. Reason why there's a hole there. Good. I need to mop this up. Do not leave liquids on these airflow tiles. That is a recipe for disaster. Uh, okay. Let's say, and then these are going to go on there. And then these, so I suppose, oh, we're going to have to make more bridges, aren't we? Uh, I suppose we'll split that one, so what we'll do is come, oof, yeah, okay, we're going to have to break in there anyway. We're going to do something like that, we'll have to work it out, work out all the details when we get there. Okay, I think we've got loads of food now. We got well, I say loads. We finally got enough food for the amount of dupes we have, which is always a good idea, guys. Would uh, would recommend that. Been living a bit hand to mouth so far. And the uh, industrial brick is starting to take shape. If anything, the industrial brick is starting to take shape before the before the actual boiler. But it doesn't really matter because this the limiting factor is probably magma on here. Uh, and we really need both of them working before we before we actually turn this on. There's no point turning this on without the brick ready to process it. Because otherwise the petroleum will back up in here and you'll have a bad time as well. So, uh, we need both. It doesn't really matter what order we tackle it in. It'll be fine. And that is a, that's a big bit of work and I've only given them... Well, I've only given them a fifth of the... Uh, 
of this to dig out, so... Right, we should prioritise this, I think, because we need to, uh... Need to get this going, so what we'll do is chop that, chop that, and we'll pull that through there, and then effectively we'll redirect it, so this one feeds these layers and this one just feeds this layer. Um, this probably also needs to go up, but there's a lot of oxygen, not fluid oxygen as well. You just got the shiatsu table. Like a massage table? You're gonna you're gonna have to explain that one, Razor. That uh that needs some qualifying that. <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's get these built. Uh, we also need some more gold amalgam if we're gonna build some stuff, I do realise. We are short on gold amalgam, um, so we've just got the metal filter on the materials overlay, the ever useful materials overlay. We'll leave this area alone because I really don't want to disturb the temperature too much in there. Um, where else can we nab some gold from? There's not a load of gold on this map, to be honest, is there? This is all lead, it's not gold, that's gold. A bit hard to see the difference, but... Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of gold amalgam. Can we... is this reachable? Yeah, alright. They do have, there's quite a lot per tile, so we're all good. All good. Uh, what I might do is... I'm kind of tempted to stop the materials research, but also... a bit of a waste if we do. Oh, right, I see, I see. I didn't know it was only. I thought it was a real life thing. I thought you'd gone, gone and got yourself a massage day. <laughs> I was like, what, what on earth is that? But, cool. Yeah, I, um, I don't think I have that skin. Do you have any skins? No. I got a cool... Some, some bed skins. Cot ones. Uh, I never use them though. Should probably use them, shouldn't I? Let's see. Get them the comfy, uh, comfy rocket beds in the final base. Uh, okay, so what we're going to have to do is tear this down and tear it down quickly and rebuild a load of stuff. Uh, okay, so let's uh, quickly smash this down. <laughs> the massage over, that's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll tear this down. We, we will make a bit of a mess, unfortunately, but we're going to have to go with it. So, here's how this goes. That goes to there. That goes to there. That comes around there. Uh, that's got to come out. Everything, everything top priority, please. Okay, pump goes to there. That comes out to there. Um, Power-wise... Power wise, that goes to there, and that's fine. Uh, power comes across there. Uh, that needs to deconstruct. Okay, this is a massive. Uh, would it fail if you didn't move everything over? Um, yeah, I think so. I like I like building the pool design and hi Jace as well. Welcome back in. Been a little while for you. Good to see you again. Okay, let's do that. Okay, uh, four of those. Oh, we've done the door deconstruct trick by accident there. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but we've done it. Okay, door atmo sensor. Okay, wire this up. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, deconstruct, deconstruct. Got one in there. Uh, we all good? We're, we're almost all good. Uh, don't need that. Okay, go with that, something like that. Quick. Yeah, the door made two tiles there, Vera. So it's a, it's a common uh, trick to make natural tiles. So it's another way that you can do it. I covered that in the pit planting and wild farming tutorial bite. It's a, it's a known method. If you surround it in a U-shape of tiles, it will form the metal tiles when you deconstruct it. Uh, to be honest, I think it's a bit of a waste of metal ore. It's very metal ore intensive to do farms with it. I definitely prefer the, the glass method. But, uh, can do that one if you want. Right, sort that out, please. That's pretty five, that's fine. Good. Oh yeah, hmm, true. 
Uh, oh yes, we need another gas pump. And we also need a load of sweeping. Get everything out. Perfect. Right. Go again. Go again. Oh, and water too. Uh, uh, we can we can empty this one. Uh, there we go. It's looking alright. Someone's singing away. Uh, yes, you, you buy solidifying liquid, so I use liquid glass. Because you can use one gram of it, so a glass forge can make literally 10,000 tiles if you, if you have insulation, or more practically, you can make about 50 to 100 in one go. Um, but yeah, check out that story bite for, for that. It's a, it's a really good trick, that one. Yes, yeah, so we'll empty this before we uh, deconstruct it. Uh, Okay. Get in there, get in there. Making all kinds of mess with, uh, with these. So 50 on the bottom. These are uh, these, <laughs> these poor uh, hydrogen generators are completely destroyed from pumping the wrong stuff. Uh, are we done? There's that. Uh, we don't need that. I think we're almost done. Yeah, our water, gas, uh, there we go. Uh, now we dropped a little bit of copper in there, it's completely done on that. Okay. Use the method because it's simpler. Yeah, the glasses, it is so much better. It's so much more efficient. Uh, Jason asked me about hydras. Yeah, we discussed this a couple of times. Um, I don't like hydras personally because my issue with, with them is that they don't self-limit. So you have to put some kind of limiter on them. Otherwise, they just use all your water and turn it oxygen. And you want water for other stuff sometimes, you know. So that's why I prefer a Rodriguez. Because when this overpressures, then it stops, and then that's it. So you've got all the, all the right stuff. Okay, so yeah, this will settle down now. Take a minute to settle, but you know, get there. And we may have to play with these because the um, this polluted gas, uh, polluted oxygen, is uh, causing some problem. Who's suffocating? Dog's body again. Dog's body already killed himself on this run. This is the second dog's body, and he's suffocating again. Uh. Yeah, you can do a Hydra for that. I mean, or you can do a bottomless Rodriguez, basically. Just a similar idea. You try and stop the oxygen from overpressurizing by venting it. Okay, right. Get these repaired. Job done. It's bomb changed. Everyone happy. These are these soup docks will now be fed much better. Our thimble reed is now dying over here. We really need this to this to come back. We got more dupes. Do we take more dupes? What are the options? Oh, gold. We'll take the gold. Take the gold. Uh, depends how you build it. I mean, it should, it should work. Is that better? I'm not. I've not had any issues with it. Okay. You mean no seed available? Why do you let me choose it if there's no seed? What are you on about? What are you on about? Crazy game. Okay. Right, so we've got the space project and we've got the boiler project. Now we've saved everyone, everyone's attention. Because, I mean, the, the lack of oxygen was stopping them getting out, so definitely uh, not a bad idea. Still got our infinite storage here. Do we? We never hooked this up. Um... So, for example, where was the? This is the natural gas. We can um, we can run this up to the to the storage. Again, I, I don't know why I'm giving them another project. So I thought they weren't busy enough. So let's uh, let's ask them to do something else. Um, but I mean, yeah, there you go. Why don't we make this one the uh, natural gas storage? Seems good to me. And we will also need to run a little bit of power down here, so we can just. Like a gold transformer down there, although, say, 
I really don't need to worry about temperature, do I? I'm very much in the habit of worrying about temperature because it's quite normal. But, uh, not a problem. Could be made of anything. Perfect. All the projects, small projects. Yeah, rocket interior. And then, um, there's another... There's another natural gas one over here too. Uh, we can... Is this going to somewhere? The aluminium volcano. <laughs> we'll just ladder up. Another project up here. There you go. Uh, okay, we're going over the steel pump, which is why we want steel so early. Uh, that's a good idea. Da -da. Can we use... Use that. Uh, get some another side project. Um. Yes. Yeah. Liquid lead is extremely dense. I found that out the hard way because I tried to submerge an aqua tuna in in liquid lead, which I succeeded in doing. But yes, I did find out the the density. I thought it was more. I thought it was more like twenty tons rather than ten tons. So that. It was huge. The amount of, uh, yeah, the amount of mass in a liquid lead tile is crazy. Uh, oh, nice, right. We, I missed the eruption there, but we do, we have had a small eruption. Okay, I think they're going to go prioritise this natural gas geyser first. Because I think they're on proximity mode, so. And we'll uh, go, go do whatever's closest. Like this. But it doesn't really matter. We're uh, we're not in a rush. What I might do, I, I think we should probably. Hmm. Okay, first priority is let let let's get the natural gas guys are done because this is technically over pressure and we are losing gas or whatever it makes the difference. Got to go see Z. All right, well no worries. We are we're fairly close. We're well we're more than halfway through the last episode, but appreciate you being in. Good night. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Is it actually that? I thought it was twenty kilo. Oh, yeah, twenty tons. We go mad. But either way, it's a hell of a lot. So uh, beware. If you're trying to use liquid lead, just beware. Uh, let's grab let's grab that too. Uh, so yeah, pro we'll do priority six is just slightly above priority five, that's kinda of how I use it. Say don't super rush onto it, but if you're gonna do normal stuff, do that first. Uh, also that's been doing some sandbox testing, very nice. Any interesting results, please share, please share. Um, another one that I find really weird is that liquid, liquid oxygen only goes to 500 kilos a tile. Liquid hydrogen goes to a thousand. So you've got to watch out for your automation settings on pumps and liquid oxygen setups because uh, they only go to 500, so. Uh, right, head caretaker is on the dig because he's prioritised at the dig. Gonna help. Can uh, say so we'll have to mesh tile this entire thing, which means we're probably gonna need more metal ore. So we better get uh, better get digging for metal ore. This is also the problem with these big industrial bricks, where you're where you've got hot bricks and you're trying to move gases around. Mesh tiles of metal ore is is difficult to get uh, in such large amounts. That's why on the most tubes run, I ended up using steel and thermium for everything because I just literally didn't have the metal ore. It was easier to get renewable tungsten turn that into thermium than to uh, than to get any more metal ores because you just have to get them from space basically. Yeah, late game metal ore is very valuable. Uh, right, lovely. This, uh, this should be done pretty speedily I think. I'm good. Resin will overflow at 20 kilos a tile. Really? Like, so, so resin, not iso resin, because the iso resins are solid anyway, mostly. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. If you, um, if you finish that, Sadar, and you're, and you're willing, then I'd, I'd love to see that on the Discord. Um, when you're finished. Can have a look at that. I'm sure it'd be a useful, uh, useful thing to do. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that sounds very low. I'm pretty sure I remember having more than 20. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, refined metal is the problem at the start, and then uh, then it becomes uh, metal ore later on. Okay, so we just have to finish this last bit. Huh? 
Oh, you're right. Yes, I did. I did not do that. Uh, that's a bit of a bummer, because uh, I'm going to have to do a whole new... Uh, no, oh, thank you, Terminator. All right, whole second gas line. Attempt number two. We need that line anyway, because if we're going to feed uh, nat gas gens from this, then uh, we'll need it. But yeah, not the one I was trying to get. It's okay. <laughs> Big Tanowski. Huh? I'm not following you. Oh, also what we need on this is, um, so remembered, we need more hydrogen generators. We can put these over here, maybe. Uh, we could, hmm, we could move the whole, the whole setup out, but we'll just move two of them for now. We'll snake it a bit. Uh, this kind of has to be slightly higher priority as well. Because uh, two, two is not enough to clear the hydrogen. You see the hydrogen is backing up, and if the hydrogen backs up, uh, it will get into the oxygen supply, or it will slow down the uh, uh, the electrolyzers, or both. Neither of those are good. I said it first. Sorry, I, did I, I missed that. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Um, yeah, big Tanowski. Thank you for that and welcome in. Apologies, I missed your message. Uh, been a lot of chatting tonight, which is great. It's always good to have uh, have the chat scrolling. And uh, people chipping in and telling me where I'm being an idiot or betting me that my crazy schemes won't work when they will. And then they will prove it wrong. Uh, I can pretend as if I know what I'm doing. Generally I do. Generally I do. We're alright. Awesome. Thank you, Sadat. I will definitely take a look at that. And uh, for anyone, anyone wants to see that, the Discord is linked down below um, on... If you watch on YouTube, it's in the description. It's also on the About page on Twitch, but there's the link as well. Got a, a bot link. If you want to pop on the Discord, please do come say hello over there. As of time recording, I now have about 300 people on there. So the so as the community just keeps growing on there as well. And uh, yeah, best way to uh, stay in touch with my streaming and all the rest of it. Although I've generally been quite good at keeping the schedule, so. Uh, but if there are any updates, they go on there, of course. Now, yeah, let's finish this off. Yeah, also, I've got to make a channel on there for you guys to share your bases if you want to. We can do a, do a beautiful base series. Join the join the cult. Uh, join the dark side. We have we have cookies. The one. I would describe it as a cult. We're a, we're a group collective of like-minded individuals. <laughs> Thank you, Snuggles. Uh, welcome in. You'll, you'll get a lovely stick away if I think I say hello to everyone that uh, that pops in. All right, are we pumping? Are we pumping? Above. Is this is above uh, 1500. There we go. Look at that. Right. Oh, uh, there's a bit of carbon dioxide in there. And a bit of chlorine. All right. They should get deleted, I think. I don't think that's a huge deal. And that means also this uh, geyser can keep going. Yeah, we're picking up little bits of gas. I don't think it's a huge issue. <laughs> no. We're, <laughs> we're not a cult. Not by any legal definition. Um, yeah, I appreciate that, Snuggles. I'm glad you, uh, glad you enjoy. And, uh, very useful. Yeah, so I think we should be able to, to delete the carbon dioxide. I think. We'll see. Otherwise, we might end up with a little bit in there. We can just pump it out. Okay, it got pumped right out. So yeah, I think it gets deleted. Now this is filled up with, with natural gas. The carbon dioxide can't actually get in. It just gets deleted in the pipe. So that's great. Well, there's a tiny bit in there, but that will be a small bit of damage to a machine in the end. Cool. So our infinite natural gas storage is going, which is great. And now it's just filled itself out. So we're all good. And yeah, we got a second one up here. Um, Should we finish this one? We need to analyze this. Get the analysis done, but then what I do want to do really is prioritize the boiler because uh, this thing is uh, it's kind of important that we build catalytics. I'm kind of running out of research stuff to really get our teeth into as well. <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch of nerds doing things, that's amazing. All right, I do mean that in the positive way, but uh, yeah, I kind of know what you mean. 
Uh, right, we don't want nictophobic. Small bladder, I can take that. And athletics? Athletics machinery is really good. Athletics is great. Right, let's take 16. We might have a quick pause at 16 in terms of taking du dupes. Um, Dominic, you are next up on the list. So, welcome in. There you go. I now have 13 of you and three caretakers, so you are you're quickly filling up the base. Of you don't have a lot of interests, but... Uh, major issue. Uh, we'll just put you on plus six. That should be enough, right? This is too many. Shouldn't there be four, 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 four? Oh, right. Sorry, I should have just left you on the default one. There you are. Being overzealous. Great. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah, the thing is, they, they take ages to make. They really do. But, um... You know, I'd, I'd definitely like to go for quality and try and keep them short. See, I think that's their main selling point, is that they are, they're efficient and they're concise. So, uh, uh, we should also, ooh, we also need to stick the automation on that too. Uh, that's an important one. Whoops. Otherwise, these things are just burning. Although, to be fair, they're probably not, not a major issue anyway. And what we can also do then is... Um, we can just run this as an overflow, right? So, effectively, we'll... Uh, we'll run this along here, and then we'll just overflow it. So we can store hydrogen in that one. We've already got a natural gas there, lovely. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, who, well, if they gave us an oil refinery that gave us 100% petroleum, well, I'd, I'd use that instead. But, you know, if they're going to make me build big builds, then I'm going to build big builds with volcanoes. Why not? Uh, ah! Damn it, Dover is correcting me on my, uh, on my building. There we go. All happy. Uh, Okay, let's priority seven that. Get that done. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we're... We're almost done this as well. Yeah, that's true. Well, I need you guys' help, so I don't mind being corrected when I'm wrong. That is, uh, is helpful. Oh, they can't get across here because they've, uh, they've dug it all out. There we go. I was wondering why they weren't building any of this, but uh, kind of explains it now. Uh, let's build that one. We prioritise these ladders and stuff. We can do that. There we go. So I say with sixteen dupes now. I mean, I'm, I feel like I've gone quite aggressive with the dupe numbers, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, we've got, well, we're using dirt quite rapidly, actually, for food, so we might need to, well, once we get the petroleum boiler up, we won't need to worry about food for a while. Uh, so that's kind of, we'll, we'll run the dirt down till then. I mean, there's, there should still be loads of dirt around the map. Where is it? Cultivatable soil? Uh, yeah, there's a load of dirt in here. It's this uh, um, forest biome. Uh, there's a load up here. So we, we've got tons and tons of dirt on the map. And I Badger, welcome back in. Now, we're doing well, we're doing well. We'll try and build a petroleum boiler pretty speedily. So, yeah, we'll, we'll rely on the mealwood for a long time. We'll be fine. If anything, we might now need to put some food storage in. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll, once we get the Slexus going, we'll get loads of barbecue and life will be hunky-dory, all good. No problems. So, uh, where is this water going to end up? I'm slightly worried, so the water's going to spill... Oh, okay, most of it's going to come down here. Tiny bit of water will come down here and get stuck in there. Ooh, muckrope. Uh, see, I think progress is going well. I mean, we've, we've managed to only kill one dupe so far and have to reload once because I was uh, too slow on getting the volcano vacuumed. We have now succeeded in that, so this volcano will be fine forever. The end. Don't open it up ever again. No need for that. And, uh, yeah, continue with everything else. Do, do, 
to it. So what, what's probably worth doing is if we, if we lay out one, um, one thing, we, uh, we are, that's the other thing, we're going to need a lot more steel, I think, because we need to make doors and grooming stations and critter drop-offs out of steel and uh, to stop it overheating. So we definitely need to make lots more of that. I think we've got, we've got a good amount of lime and carbon now, so, I mean carbon's easy, but we've got a good amount of lime. I wonder, I wonder if we, the problem is this is all flowing past, uh, so I wonder if we could do something like this, might be a better solution, um, so we'll just prioritise it onto that and then go around. Can't you make doors or whatever? They, they'll overheat. They'll overheat their Vera. Cause, so this will be a hot brick. Because we want slicks to us. We want to run this about 100 and... We want to run this over 120 because the petroleum boilers make polluted water and we'll boil it straight into water. So the whole brick needs to be over 120. So uh, the, if we make this out of gold, they'll just overheat. Um, hmm. Well, they... Maybe. I don't, yeah, anyway, I don't have suppressed notifications anyway, so, uh, but generally I don't like doing that. I like, I like having it right, you know what I mean? I've also got to do a proper liquid lock for this, I think. Do a double, double liquid lock. I really want the reed fibre to come back, but, uh, that one's growing, the other ones aren't. Once this, this comes back alive again, it'll, uh, it'll reheat that up, I think. This is still not, uh... Is this still taking too much heat out? It's going at 24. This is still... Yeah, okay, but it's keeping the base warm, but... It's taking a lot of heat out. Hmm. Our refinery water is uh, looping around and heating up a bit. Temps are good. Temps are good. Yeah, I just hate having broken stuff everywhere, even if you've muted it. It's just it's a bit... Not like it. Someone's got heat stroke now. Is it? Some hot water. It's not even that hot. What are you on about? 50 degrees. They'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, do we have any iron ore? So, the concern is they're going to do this and then uh, screw themselves over. Okay, so a ranch will look like this. Um, yeah, we're, we're probably not going to have enough steel for it. So 25 is to here, and then what we'll do is we'll put a uh, put door in there. Again, I use these vertical runs with normal tires, so it just reduces the metal ore by a, a good chunk for not much change. So grooming station, um, we don't need a critter feeder, we need a critter drop off. I think that's it, isn't it? Need anything more of this? Am I going mad? I mean, obviously we need the, we need the sweeping. Uh, let's put the sweeper in and the conveyor loader. Again, all out of steel. Yeah, that's it. Okay. They really are simple, these things. Uh, and then, yeah, we can, we can win another efficiency saving if we if we make these normal tiles. It will impede the gas flow a bit, but uh, it saves, you know, it saves a lot of metal ore. But not much reduction in gas flow. Uh, and then, yeah, we can then do a copy paste job, basically. What I'll do is I'll ask them to dig that as well. But that'll be priority five, and this stuff should be priority six. Ah, well, the water did fall out here, so hopefully it gets stuck in here. It might even freeze. Hmm. Thing is, I'd rather not have the water all end up coming into the oil. Well, that would freeze down there anyway. All right, we're all good. So yeah, we uh, at least we need to, to drain this area, and we will need, we'll need to vacuum it as well, of course. Uh, don't make the grooming station out of steel, doesn't it? That's why they overheat. Hmm. Okay. You may be right, doesn't say. 
good tip there. I thought they did overheat, so there you go. There's always, there's so much in this game that uh, sometimes you get stuff wrong. We'll see, we'll see. Um, you might be right. Probably right. It looks like you're right. But we'll find out. Uh, nice. So yeah, got a lot, lot of digging to do around here. And a head caretaker, our main main digger, is on it. Getting all the way through the abyssalite. There's one of the few dupes that can actually get through that stuff. And the super duper hard digging. Everything else is all good. Yeah, I mean they should mow through this quite quickly. I say we've got quite a lot of dupes quite early, so I'm feeling I'm feeling happy and confident we've done the right thing here. Um, this seems to be taking a back seat at this point. Uh, why was that? We have no food storage on here too. Um, how do we fit a fridge on here without making everything horrible? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's easily confused. It's important. Let's stick a let's, we'll stick a fridge in here. We can supply some food. We might need to start making some uh, pickled meal. Uh, yeah. Oh, steel. Nice. I mean, only 100 grams, but 100 kilograms. Uh, yeah, we, we'll hold off on taking some dupes for now, because if we take more dupes currently, we'll need to add more bedrooms, add more schedules. Uh, that's about it. I think oxygen we're fine. And food, we're probably fine. We'll see, we'll see. The more dupes we've got, the quicker we go. We are, we're rattling through, smashing through the mid game, pushing towards the late game already, you know. We're going to get some space materials. Um, we, we have not found this third oil reservoir. There's a, there's a geyser here. This is a salt water bio. Oh, I swear that's the one I did at the start of the stream and then forgot about. Probably. So I'm really hoping there's, there's another oil reservoir here, but there's not a lot of map left to find, so... Uh, otherwise, if we've only got two, uh, it's going to be a pain. Uh, it's going to be a right pain because we won't we'll, we won't get the flow. We have to meet to the flow, and I'll have to adjust the design to account for it. And then also, we'll get way less stuff. Hmm. The thing is, I don't think they can go down there with their masks. I don't, I don't think they have enough oxygen in them. So we really need we really need the symbol reads to come back online. They're all frozen up now, aren't they? Surprisingly, just wonder if we can move this, uh, move this thimble reed to uh, somewhere hotter. Okay, let's see, we've uh, got a load of carbon dioxide down here as well. Rebuilt up, so we really need to get this launched. But uh, okay, uh, okay. So they can't get away with the batteries so again. Tip with this: if you move them the, that up, they can now reach this uh, this wire. All right, I'm kind of yeah, I'm getting bored of this. So let's uh, let's do that top priority, and we can at least get that launched and get some data banks coming in. Uh, we can also get data banks, of course, by analysing the geysers and inspecting anything thing um right okay but i i realize i'm also i'm also out of time unfortunately i'm at the end of the episode and end of the stream uh, i'll do a quick wrap up uh although i'm probably already over, over time already no worries uh what have we achieved this stream well i think we've done quite a bit this this time i mean obviously the main focus has been around this uh capturing this volcano setting up a petroleum boiler we've made good progress on that we're going to need to keep digging of course um certainly industrial brick as well we really need to find a third oil well, if there is one. I really hope there is one. Uh, that's the main thing. We, we've sorted our infinite, infinite storage out. So we've got a bit of hydrogen, but of uh, quite a lot of natural gas in there, which is great. Uh, material, materials research is a go. And we've got most of the tree now up to the materials tier. We really need the data banks to keep going. Uh, on that note, of course, we have our rocket. Uh, we are now building it. See, see how quickly they can build it when they want to. They just don't, they just can't be bothered. So we'll get this going next time and start making data banks. We want to double check whether the suit trick works or not. Um, we'll find out. If not, we'll need to work out an oxygen supply. Is this charging? Okay, right, so now we've uh, 
now we've built this, we can um, this should charge the battery, which is great. How's our rooms looking on here? That's what I should check as well. Uh, this is a nothing. Mess table. Remove conflicting buildings. Missing decor item. Huh? Does that count? I thought this counts. What would what, what you be? I, I'm not clear on why that's not great. Well, anyway, we'll have to have a look into that next time. I'm going to hold the end of this uh, this wrap up up. Decor, yeah. Uh, we've expanded the base, so the heating loop is now working lovely and uh, is keeping us warm up here up top. This mealwood is growing. Some of it's not growing, but uh, yeah. That's all good. So we've got loads of food now. Well, I say loads. We are we're in, we've got enough to tide us over till we get these slickers up. Added another great hall there. You know, we upgraded the half Rodriguez to four Rodriguez. We've got way more dupes now. So we to keep on going with that. Upgraded this to a plastic ladder. I think that's good. And sorted our water supply. Uh, is that about it? I think that's about it. We haven't done anything on the other planetoid. Um, so yeah, I think I think that is the summary for it. Uh, I better end it there because we're already over time, but it's a okay. huge thank you for you guys for watching the VODs. Um, I'll see you next time uh, very soon.